same way for output impedance also so output impedance uh, you can for output impedance alone you can uh, start from the first stage you can go in the forward or you can go in the backward there is no that's not going to be any difference uh, because uh, it is going to be a symmetrical network right so output impedance you can uh, calculate starting from the first stage or you can come backwards you will get the same answer okay so that is not an issue and uh, when you we see resistance in parallel you will be applying the parallel formula and when you see the resistance in uh, when you see the resistance in series you can uh, accordingly uh, use the formula for resistance in series so similarly proceed to find the output impedance of the last stage so when you have two stage amplifiers you start from one and you proceed till two only for output impedance see for input impedance gain and current gain we are starting from two to one output to input we are starting so when you do output impedance you have to do the reverse you have to start from one and you have to go towards the last stage so all the above methods whatever you have we have discussed for cascaded amplifiers they are not only for common emitter they can also be used for common base and common culture configuration also it is very 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 general so they we have not specified anywhere it is only for common emitters so all the four parameters voltage current gain input impedance and output impedance whatever we have seen for cascaded amplifier is well applicable for common emitter common base and common collector configurations also okay so don't think that is specific to ce no you can use it for cb and ce we don't use cb and ce as amplifiers and so we restrict our usage of these techniques only for common emitter configuration any any queries so far you can ask so general concepts I have told you. Now we'll specifically go into the common emitter uh, concept. So any doubts you have, you can ask. Any doubts or queries if you have, you can ask. I again say one well, of these things will look very when you study on the day of exam you should have a regular learning every day as we complete the portions so if there are no queries I think uh, I will move on to the next topic